and welcome to our local news for this evening. Gualdea, Kutiana Hexton. The long-awaited Manatua cable was supposed to have landed at Rutaki Beach sometime today, but due to high seas, the cable landing on Rarotonga has been delayed. Renolf Scarborough from Avaroa Cable Limited told CITV Local News that the high seas would dictate the arrival of the cable. If conditions calm down, an attempt would be made early Wednesday morning. Moving on to seabed minerals. Yesterday we spoke to Laurie Mayer about the geological side of the recent ocean minerals expedition, but today we spoke to Dr. Adrian Flynn about the environmental side of their mission. Ocean Minerals Limited led a research expedition to gather samples on Christmas Day to New Year's. Aron Aizai Ngadi reports. Seabed minerals continue to serve as a controversial talking point in the Cook Islands. There has been confusion in terms of what procedures have been put in place to ensure the exploration of the Cook Islands ocean minerals does not disturb the country's natural environment. So the other thing that's important for people to understand is that we're at the very beginning of the road to investigating uh, nodule harvesting in the Cook Islands. So right now um, the Seabed Minerals Act is being um, finalised and we're moving into a process of the granting of exploration licences. Um, the other important thing for people to realise is that if nod nodule harvesting happens in the future it will be nested within the Moray Moana Act and there will be protections put in place uh, to preserve nodule areas as well. These are called preservation reference zones or set-asides, uh, there's another word for them, or they're also called biological preservation zones. These um, are large areas of nodule related habitat that um, is set aside from mining so as, an, as another precautionary measure to ensure the environmental protection of the seabed. Um, the precautionary approach dictates everything that we do in this space, from the government level to the operator level, and Ocean Minerals is um, walking through that precautionary approach, approach um, hand in hand with um, regulators and stakeholders in the Cook Islands. Dr Adrian Flynn goes on to state that environmental assessments were taken and results showed that bacterial communities were the main forms of life at the depths they were testing. Beyond about um, 5,000 metres, there's, um, which is the water depths we're talking about, um, there's, there's very little um, life on the, on the seabed. And, um, but there are, of that life that does exist at that depth, um, the, the bacterial communities are the, one of the main drivers of biogeochemical processes uh, on the seabed. So we really want to try and get a view of those organisms. The types of uh, imagery that we've seen on the seafloor to date, uh, which has been quite limited, uh, suggests that the larger organisms are relatively um, scarce compared to what we're seeing, for example, in the clarion clipperton zone. And that's possibly due to a combination of there being lower productivity surface waters here in the Cook Islands and um, a different type of water mass at the seabed. So um, this particular program of work that we've been doing um, now um, really lends itself to that bacterial um, <clears throat> genetic side of, of the uh, studies. But in the future, um, there'll be a very detailed suite of biological studies. Flynn also had high praise for the Cook Islanders who accompanied them on the expedition. He states that he is thankful for the assistance given to them by the locals who accompanied them. The local team were incredibly helpful to us. We basically split people up into deck operations, environmental operations and geological operations. So we had Cook Islanders um, on the deck doing the heavy lifting, getting swamped by waves. We had a lot of rough weather out there. Um, we asked a lot of our assistants and they um, absolutely came through with the goods. We had people in the lab, uh, we had people with paperwork and data entry and uh, it was absolutely fantastic to see the entire team come together and to be so enthusiastic under very tough conditions. Um, through seasickness and um, through very uh, waves coming over the deck and um, very trying conditions, everyone came through for us. This is Alunai Zayangari from CITV News.